I'm gonna move Big Daddy's dozer first thing this morning over there to the new job. And then come back and get Brutus. Supposed to do motor oil change in Brutus today, but uh, I misplaced my keys to get in the Derrick shop, so that's gonna wait. Johnny's got Stevie and Junkyard and Roger. They're working here today. Finishing up this Indian Mounds job. And, uh, getting the last of it, all this rain's been kicking us in the pants. And it's gonna get sloppy down here. It's got another rain this morning. Damn it. This one, it's gotten a mood to rain. We've been dry for a good while. And it has just definitely gotten a mood to rain. Let's back up just a little bit. Maybe two feet so I can get this one on. So my first job of the day is to get uh, my log trailer off. I'm gonna grab the low boy, take Big Daddy's dozer, and head to Ruby Redbone and dump his dozer off so him, Derek, and Robin can start logging on Ruby Redbone. And then I'm uh, I'm gonna be moving equipment while uh, Roger, Stevie, and Junkyard finish cutting over here at Indian Mound, or finish hauling in the wood that I cut on Indian Mound in uh, Big Mama is loading out logs, and all the truckers are on deck trucking the logs off and getting them to the mill because we got to get the boom pulled out before the rain gets here. The reason everybody is logging this morning when I got in here is uh, I stayed back to mill a little bit this morning to help him get going in. Uh, Ricky falls late. <laughs> Wolf pack. So, <laughs> so anyways, um, Derek's on vacation. Uh, he took his family at this point. They went to Gatlinburg. To stay at a really cool cabin and uh the bands are piling up he is gonna love us when he gets back i'm so sorry derek <laughs> this is trailer changing take one <laughs> yeah and i'm gonna move uh big daddy's dozer i'm gonna move brutus over and then i'm gonna go to truck and logs So today I started out, we didn't change pan this morning, me and Harwick didn't, but we started out putting a barn cleaner on because it had a chunk stuck in it. Start up the, we start up the resaw and uh, I sawed for a little while. I suck on it, but I'm, I'm getting better. But I got a long way to go on a resaw. <laughs> he was sliding around. He was sliding around the mud. I want to get him coming out. Look at them veneer sticks. Big old waller in that veneer sticks. That's your black gold, boys.
<laughs> I just follow you. When we go out, we're gonna go that way. Right? Okay, okay. Okay. So he's throwing out work on barn planer. Had to put it on. Big old chunk of rotten wood. Fell out of the edge. Again. I don't know what to do there. Me and Rick and Ball keeps talking about it. We don't know. We don't get much downtime from the barn planer. It's not bad. But we do get, I'd say, two to three times a month. We get something in there that stops it or kicks the chain off, which it don't take 10 minutes to put it back together, but it's still 10 minutes of waste of time. Don't know what to do. And a lot of it, just like Rick and Ball said, a lot of it's our sloppy habits coming from the woods. We leaving chunks of the loose on the end, or the one that got us there was a log with a big old chunk of dope in the middle of it, where they cut every, all the good boards the outside and the dope fell off. Um, but anyways, worked on barn cleaner, then fired up the resaw, ran it for a little while, and I suck on that thing. But I'm getting a little better. I can start it up now. I can, I can die, you know, I can do that. I'm going to learn a lot quick. But I got a long way to go. Man, Rick and Ball and Derek, I'm going to tell you. They know how to run that resaw. But the out two held it, ran it for years. I got a long way to go there. Come down here. Oh, yep. Yeah. PTO's in gear. We don't need that PTO to get down the road. If we ever do a four wheel drive, we can do a PTO driven four by four. But, anyways, uh, gonna move the dozer and gonna move Brutus and then gonna truck logs today. We gotta get the knuckle boom. The super kitty's gotta come out of that hole by tomorrow at noon. That's when the rain hits. And we'll be off Monday and we'll work on the edger and other things around the mill. Monday we'll be off in the woods. The mill's getting better all the time. But got a ways to go too, and we're behind on vans. Derek's been off, he's on vacation. Uh, he went to uh, Gatlinburg. Stay in a cool cabin. Man, they got a cool cabin stay in Gatlinburg. But uh, he'll be back Monday. <laughs> he'll hit a pile of vans. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. <laughs> he'll be ready to kill us. Be like, you son of a bucks, what did you do to me? <laughs> oh gosh. Well, we got four new bands. We've run one of them, and we got one set on the floor over there by the head saw, and then we got two brand new ones set in the shop. So we got plenty to go through, but it's what they're running this morning is our old two style, the old elegant two style we used to have, but we got bent teeth and stuff on our band. We're running that today. Oh, sorry, buddy. Go ahead. Lay on a jack brake just a little bit. Go ahead and lay on his jack brake and slow that big meter down. No, he's got a K walker. So, anyway, that's what we're doing today. I was reading comments this morning. Had a lot of comments on the uh, tree cutting fidget for a bug. And some, some pro, the way I worked with bug on that, and the way you all seen this video, I don't know when this video be coming out, but it was back, the uh, bug video was done back towards the end of October 2020. So go back and see that video if you hadn't. You love them videos, I promise you. They're one of the longer weights, best videos. Um, and that's according to other people, not me. But uh, some say, you know, what I got from reading the comments, I'm telling you, it's about people. It's all about people. Uh, you don't have to be that good a tree cutter to do things if you got people skills. And people skills, and what the people skills will help you do if you're not a good tree cutter and you got other, other ideas in the mix and you're not a good tree cutter, it'll help you have a fallback. It, there's so many things I'd like to talk to y'all about on that stuff. To help somebody impressionable, or to bring up a conversation from somebody experienced that could help all of us. Either way, uh, but what I'm saying is, is it, 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 it's the people's everything. It's all about the people. And those of you that don't go through, if you're watching Loader Wade, I'm not trying to be political. But if you're watching Loader Wade, man, I'm telling you, it's all about people. 
It's got to be about people. If you're not making it about people, if you're making it about, you know, that's a, a 526 fucking freaking nine. Uh, sorry, I almost dropped an F-bomb. I normally talk with F-bombs. I don't talk with them here because uh, I'm not trying to screw up my uh, pizzazz with the, but boy, I'd like to drop a few, buddy. I can drop them with the best of them. Go on about the, you know, the 562 freaking Hydro Tachi Bull Mass, you know, or the, you know, the the, the, Do the Dodson Daiwu Jinky Jonker that, that does the, you know, that, no, it's the people. It's all about the people. That's all it's ever been about. If you make it about the machinery, you're missing the people. Oh, yeah, boy, there's a human element. Hi, how you doing? I'm on your side of the road, but you can drive around. It won't kill you. I've got me a convoy, look at that. I've got a four-wheel convoy following me to the next job. I got a four-wheel convoy. They think I'm a road hog convoy. But anyways, if you get too into the machinery and the knickknacks of the machine, everybody's like, well, I like machine. I know this is I used to be this way. Well, I like machinery. Machinery's simpler. It's either broke or it's fixed. You break, it breaks, and you fix it, it's fixed. It stays fixed till price next time. Well, people's the same way. People get broke too. Uh, and they, 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 but your people, your machines are the tools, and your people is the brains. Your hardware is good. You know, you, your hardware is good and all, and you want good hardware. But the software is where it's happening. You know, and your people is your software, and your machines is your hardware, and your tools, and your wrenches, and your daggone hammers and welders, you know, saws, your brutuses, your bulldozers, your loaders, your dad gun, hawk trucks, and stuff like that. But that but that that's your hardware. But your software is where it's at. And that's your people. And your software, they gotta be and you gotta love you gotta love your people, man. You gotta love working with people. You gotta be a people people. I'm telling you. When you're not people, people, ha, your whole life's going to be harder on you. Let me tell you something. Mama always told me, if you're going to get anywhere in life, these people that get nowhere in life, they start fights with other people. They make they make trouble with other people. They make people trouble. That's what they do. You know, and they, and they sit there on their podium, and they're like, you know, well, I'm in the right, and I'm, you know, mopping your boot, you know, and all that stuff, and I'm standing for a cause. Don't let nobody push you around. That type of bull mess, that's all bull mess. If you're gonna get somewhere in life, you're gonna get somewhere because old boy down the street thought about something and he said, hey, try this. Or hey, you ought to get them to do that job. Or something like that. That's how you get ahead in life. That's how you get ahead. You gotta have other people that want you to get ahead to get ahead. If nobody wants you to get ahead, guess what? You're not gonna get ahead. I don't care if you're freaking watching Macaulay and Dam the guy with the I don't care if you're that hockey. I don't care if you're Stephen Hawking. If they don't want you to get ahead, you're not getting ahead. So if you're gonna get ahead in life, you're gonna to have to be people people. That's just all there is to it. So take that to the bank. Drop it in there, make a deposit, and see where I get you. Let her grow. Love y'all.
Captain Carson on that hill. It must be done because it's set on that hill. Okay, my, my boy Levi, he's at a meal today because of Corona 2020, and he's going to call me because he wants me to uh, help him find some parts because he's going to do some drawing and stuff like that. And it was in this video, and I never took it out of this video, and it's kind of long, and those, a lot of you won't want to see this. So you can skip ahead if you want to 20, 22 minutes. And then it skips past that. So if you don't want to listen to me and Levi's phone conversation, so that won't bore you out or whatever. But I want it in here because if anything ever happens to me or anything ever happens to Levi, I can come in here and watch it. So this is kind of a personal thing. It, it don't have a lot to do with YouTube's. So suit y'all self. But if you want to when he calls or whatever, just jump ahead to 22 minutes and then you can jump past me and him is yakking back and forth. Talk to me, old buddy. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? Looking for your protractor and um, I cannot find it. Um, did you go up to? Uh, <clears throat> no, you're looking for a compass. That's what the pencil goes in. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a protractor. A protractor is what you read with. It's the one that's got the arch in it. Yeah, Mama said it. Said that the. Okay, now go upstairs. Are you in Daddy's office? Yep. All right. Look underneath the left desk. You see the desk that I draw on? Um, the one with the big roll of paper with those magnifying glasses? Yep, look underneath there. There should be a bag underneath it. Um. See a bag full of tools underneath it? There's a box. Yeah, it might be under that box or in that box one. I'm gonna take a look. Is there a zippy bag in there? I haven't opened it yet. If I was there, I'd beat you. I'd beat you until you found that bag. It's just foam. And what? Just, oh, this is what, um, never mind, this is the wrong one. This is what Tony gave you. This is a box Tony gave you. Yeah. Is it a silver box? I mean, no, it's just a, box? there should be just a cardboard box or something like that with a bag in it. A big bag. It's got a bunch of rulers and tools and stuff in it. Is it a blue bag? I don't know. It's... I don't know, it's a Ziploc bag, it's nothing big. Or it's nothing yep. heavy. Um, wouldn't be in here, this is all rulers and figures. Well, yeah, stuff. rulers and stuff, yeah. It ain't in okay. there? Um, I, I can't, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I can't see through it, some of these stuff is green, blocking the view. Well, you can open it, it's my bag. Can I put your... Okay. Put me on speakerphone. I just did. Hello. Hello. My name is Levi. I'm a sissy. Anybody that hears this? No, nobody up here about me. I don't know what a protractor is. My name is Levi Peabody. I know it's a protractor. Mom just oh. does. Okay, it's not in here. Okay. It's not in the mega bag. It's not in the mega bag. Um. There's a Look at that, look in that little drawer. Did you look in that little drawer? Yeah, I did not find anything. That was the first place I looked. There's nothing. Well, I got a circle template. How big a circle are you trying to make? Oh, this circle thing would work. There should be a circle circle template in that thing. There's lots of them. There's triangle, circle. Now, don't tear that stuff up. That stuff's professional stuff, but you can use it. And when you use that stuff, you need to use that desk up there where Daddy's desk is. Yeah, so don't leave them. So you don't take that stuff out of there, and you can draw on that yeah. desk if you want. Yeah, okay. Thank you. See how that is, how it's set up? Mm-hmm. Now. Yeah, I've used one of these before. What Daddy does when he draws is he puts something up on that uh, desk, and you take a tape, and you tape all four corners down, and then you can use that drafting machine. You see that drafting machine? Is it on the table or not? Um, 
what does it look like? I mean, this is paper and those uh, light and that big magnifying glass. And look underneath the table. Is there a great big black thing that looks like a robot arm down there? Yep. I'll have to set it up for you. I'll set it up for you and you can do some, you can draw on that table. You can use that table for your drawings. Daddy don't draw much anymore. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's okay. I mean, like, that thing would work. I need my dress or something. Well, just use them other tools I got there to do your drawing and then I'll hook up the drafting machine and stuff for you someday, okay? Yes, yeah, so I mean. And then I can beat the poop out of you then. Then, then I could then I could beat you for pooping. No. Well, I, first see first I could beat the poop out of you, and then I could beat you for pooping. No, that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. What if it does happen? What what it if I beat you and you poop? It won't. <laughs> I love you. Be good. I love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that, that kid ain't licking no good. Alright, put the phone down, we're getting on the highway. Serious. Boy, there is a lot of political signs up. It's right before election. How you doing, old buddy? Got a load of grain on, huh? Well, I'm gonna pull out here with you here and get big. They're all down there at Tim's. Hi, guys! I'm getting ready to take my saw off of Brutus here because I'm uh, a fitting to go up here and cut a couple mysteries that I missed the other day. They're right on a fence line and it gets comical. And I actually do start fitting uh, like I forgot to, about the veg or whatever because things are crazy and I'm disgusted because I missed them. And my saw's crapping up because of my bar issues and filing issues. And guess what? I don't have a file. So this gets funny. Um, to you guys, not to me. It sucked for me. But let me know if y'all want to see it in the next video. Um, the next video, I'm going to go up there and try to uh, cut these tag on mysteries, and, and it, gets, it, gets, it gets comical. <laughs> but for now, anyways, that was on, was on my mind there. Sorry. Uh, but what we're doing right now is I'm loading Brutus, and I'm going to take Brutus over to the, uh, to the uh, uh, Ruby Redbone job, which is a really cool job. I advise you all, those of you that like seeing the log and stuff, Stick with me for the Ruby Redbone stuff because we do some pretty cool stuff um, on that job and I can't wait. And the reason it's called a Ruby Redbone job because this guy's got a pup. Her name's Ruby and she is the sweetest freaking pup. Uh, she's a Redbone hound and she is the sweetest pup ever was. And she is into everybody's everywhere, every stuff. We finally had to get him to tie the dog up because we was afraid we was going to get her smashed. And... Either that or we going to have to put her in a skitter or something and just let her ride with us. <laughs> but it's awesome. Uh, but anyways, I'll shut up. What? What? You tell me if you see the crack. The crack coming out. Okay. Okay. Think that's good? Yeah, you think it's good? It's good. Alright. As long as it don't come yeah. off. I mean, if it comes off, it'll be a catastrophe. No big deal. No pressure. I like driving her nuts. Bye, Kenny! See you later! Wait up, I'm coming!
kind of wrestling around getting stuck and everything getting in this thing uh, kind of spinning stuff I'm gonna shut this off here because it's getting long enough and, and if I went ahead and bought, bit into the rest of what I did here today it's gonna turn into a really long video so let me come back and, and, and cover I'll start back in on the next video uh, I'll start back on the next video when I'm going back and cut them trees <laughs> and it gets dysfunctional <laughs> all right thanks guys doodly Bye. Bye.